Hello everyone, welcome to my Soap's official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Monday, October 23, 2023. Today on The Young and the Restless Sally meets with Nick, Claire's interests become clearer, and Adam finds something puzzling. At Newman Media, Claire hands Nikki her papers and informs her she arranged her a massage appointment. Nikki compliments on how well he does her job and so calmly. Claire says she's finally doing what she's waited so long to accomplish. Nikki lets her know she trusts her. Claire just smiles. Nikki asks how she's settling in. Claire says it's been a process and she's finding her way around Genoa City. Nikki asks if she's looked up her acquaintance from college. Claire relays they're playing phone tag but she's met some new friends. Nikki is delighted to hear it since she doesn't want her to leave. Claire reiterates it's her dream job working for a woman she couldn't admire more. She tells Nikki to get home and she'll lock up. Nikki calls her an angel and walks out. Adam walks into the GCAC and Victor invites him over to the bar. Join me. He tells his kid he's looking fantastic and asks if he's got a minute to sit. Adam pulls up a bar stool and asks how he's doing today. Victor feels he's on top of the world. He chortles that Nate says he's doing a terrific job and he's really proud of him. Adam laments that Nate doesn't trust him. Victor asks, can you blame him? Adam answers, not really. He confides that Nate likes to remind him that he's under his thumb. Victor has something to tell Adam in secret. I have very strong suspicions that Nate Hastings is conspiring with Victoria to undermine me, to unseat me, to force me out of my CEO chair so she can take over the CEO chair again and manage the darn company. Adam admits that Nate is undoubtedly ambitious, and Victoria plainly wants her title back. But why do you think they're actively pursuing it? Victor's convinced they're trying to establish he's incapable. What do you think? Adam doesn't want to belittle Victoria. Victor begs him to tell him what he honestly believes. Adam believes Victoria was upset when he came back and could be organizing a coup. Victor is delighted that he talked to Nick, who suggested he might come and join him at Newman again to keep an eye on them. Adam wonders when Nick said he'd come back to Newman. He was upset when Victoria shoved him out of the way to bring on Nate, and he and Sharon launched their own company, unless he has his own agenda. Victor claims Victoria managed to convince Nick that he is losing it. Adam comments, Wow, they're really coming at you from all sides, Dad. Victor admits it breaks his heart. Adam assures Victor that no one is sharper than him. Shame on them both. Victor asks Adam to be his ally. Adam answers, Of course I will. You know, I meant it when I said I learnt my lesson. Whatever happens, I'm on your team. I've got your back. Victor says, I knew I could count on you. At society, Chloe joins Sally, who is finishing off some work. Chloe hopes she accepted her advice and sorted things out with Nick. Sally tells her Nick is avoiding her. Chloe urges her to let him cool down and allow him time to miss her. Sally says it doesn't feel like a break, it seems like the end. Chloe refuses to think there's no way forward for them. Once he understands it's Adam he's furious with, things will change. Sally says that Nick is sure that she has unresolved feelings for Adam, and he's not going to compete with that. Chloe tells her to convince him that's not the case, it's not right. Sally sighs. Chloe gops, no Sally, absolutely not. Sally wishes she hadn't said anything, and Chloe backtracks, vowing no judgment. Sally confides that she tore into Adam, but at the end of it she realized she can't let go of him either. Chloe grimaces. Sally invites her to yell at her. Chloe feels she gave him exactly what he wanted, and now he'll continue to hound her. Why would you give Adam all that power? Sally had to be honest with him. Chloe fumes that she handed him a free license to be Adam. He will do everything he can to make you fall for him again, and then, because he's Adam, he will break your heart. At Crimson Lights, Nick tells Sharon there's ongoing tension with Victoria saying that their dad isn't himself. He wasn't sure about her motives but that's all changed. Nick wants Sharon's professional take. I hate even saying this out loud. I think there's something wrong with my dad. Sharon's concerned because Nick doesn't fear easily and wonders what he's noticed. Nick fills her in on the memory lapses and mistakes Victor has made and says that other times he's totally clear. His mother is resistive. 
Sharon thinks Nikki would insist on him seeking assistance if she thought he needed it. Nick says he and Victoria tried to talk to him, but he got into a rage and kicked them out. Sharon informs Nick this is out of her field. Nick asks where they should go from here. Sharon agrees to have a talk with Victor to see if she senses anything is odd with him. Nick appreciates it. In the interim, he will check in on him and monitor the issue. Sharon thinks that's excellent but wonders if it will allow him time to focus on their business launch. Nick assures her he's dedicated, even though she could do it on her own if she had to. Looking out for his dad won't interfere or drag him back to Newman Enterprises. He knows everything will get better once he figures out what's going on with his dad. Sharon notes he suddenly doesn't have Sally to lean on. Nick doesn't want to talk about it. Sharon asks, do you want some advice? If you are driving around unresolved issues about your relationship, they are going to gnaw away at you. Nick wonders if she's hinting he should try to sort things out with Sally. At society, Sally admits to Chloe that she simply blurted it out to Adam that she wasn't over him. She regretted it immediately. Chloe pushes her to forget it ever occurred. For God's sake, please go fix things with Nick. Don't let Adam cost you someone who is valuable to you on so many levels. She may not just lose her business but perhaps the best man she's ever known. At Crimson Lights, Nick informs Sharon that Sally's still in love with Adam. There's nothing to talk about. He reminds her of the pull he had on her. Sharon responds that what she sometimes thought was love with Adam was occasionally something else, something very complicated and unhealthy for everyone. Nick claims it kept her tied to him much like Sally is now. He has to move on. Sharon's sorry it worked out like this. She asks if he'll still sponsor Sally's startup. Nick isn't sure. On one hand it keeps him tethered to her, but it was his idea and removing the financing seems like a very Adam thing to do. Sharon thinks he only owes her a discussion in case she's afraid about losing everything. Nick decides she's right and thanks her. He contacts Sally and begs to meet. At society, Sally assures Nick on the phone, I'll be there. And Nick, thank you for calling. She disconnects and Chloe says, see, that is a good guy. She feels it's a good indication. Sally muses that at least she'll know more than she knows now. This meeting with Nick could change her life. At the jazz lounge, Nikki tells Victor how fortunate she is that Claire came into her life. She goes on and on but Victor's utterly engrossed and not listening. Nikki realizes she's talking to herself. Victor is apologetic but he had a talk with Adam earlier and instilled the idea in his head that Victoria might be preparing a coup with Nate. He thought he might be justified in thinking so and too quickly pledged his devotion to him. He was trying to be convincing. Nikki hates this scheme of his, people will be hurt, including you. He may find out stuff he doesn't want to know. Victor says he'll find out what he needs to know. Who will make the initial move? Victoria or Adam? He's beginning to suspect he'll soon find out. A Newman Media, Claire tidies up Nikki's desk and pauses to look at the family photos on the desk, zeroing in on one of Nikki and Victoria. Sally enters inside the GCAC and Adam is sitting at the bar. She walks over and he says he was going to call but he assumed she needed some time. Sally tells him, please don't. She informs him there is no future for them. Nick comes and Adam asks whether he's there to meet her. Sally says he is and it's none of her concern. Adam tells her he abandoned her and questions how there can be a future after what she said to him. Adam knows the love they had deserves a shot. Sally's not having this conversation with him, not now and not ever. Adam walks off. Nick joins Sally, who thanks him for meeting with her. We have a lot to discuss. Nick is merely there to have a professional talk about her business startup. Sally guesses he's pulling the plug. I get it. You have lost trust in that too. In the jazz lounge, Nikki agrees that Victoria was unhappy when Victor came back and demoted her but she's still his daughter. She would never betray him. If anyone is plotting against him, it's Adam. Victor supposes he'll find out soon enough. Adam enters the main office at Newman and pours himself a drink. He sits in the CEO chair and looks up at his dad's image frowning. At the GTAC, Nick tells Sally he's not pulling out of her business. It's not who he is and he wanted to tell her that in person. He'll keep the financial promise he made because even though things changed with him, his conviction in her abilities hasn't wavered. Sally wonders how things got so off track with them. Nick maintains it wasn't because of him. 
He was excited about their connection and the possibilities, but Adam was always there. She needs to figure out what she wants or she will never be happy. I knew exactly what I wanted. It's your confusion that has to be dealt out. He can't keep doing this with her. In her suite, Claire pours a drink of wine and walks over to her nightstand. She pulls out a file folder and sits to open it. Inside is a dossier of articles regarding Nikki, Victoria, and the Newman family. In the jazz lounge, Nikki sees Victor stewing and texts Victoria to come to the ranch. I need to see you. In Victor's office, Adam digs through folders and in drawers. Finally, he finds upon a doodle pad with a drawing on it. Puzzled, he studies a spiral serpent with a crown made up of his, Nick, and Victoria's names. Looking up at Victor's photo, he contemplates, What the hell is going on with you, Dad? Next on The Young and the Restless, Daniel and Lily dispute about Heather, Christine surprises Danny, and Nick calls out Victor for his recent actions. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.